Today, we'll dive into the lives of some extraordinary women whose leadership, resilience, and empowerment have left an indelible mark on the pages of history. From the majestic landscapes of ancient Africa to the modern-day corridors of power, these queens have defied norms and shattered glass ceilings, serving as beacons of strength for generations to come. 1. Queen Nefertiti of Egypt, our journey begins in the land of pyramids and pharaohs, Egypt, with the awe-inspiring Queen Nefertiti. Regarded as one of the most powerful queens of ancient times, Nefertiti's beauty was matched only by her intellect and influence. Alongside her husband, Pharaoh Akhenaten, she introduced radical changes in religious beliefs and art. Nefertiti's legacy endures as a symbol of a woman who wielded authority and contributed to the cultural evolution of her civilization. Nefertiti was an ancient Egyptian queen who was the wife of Pharaoh Akhenaten. She is considered to be one of the most beautiful women in history, and her image is one of the most iconic images of ancient Egypt. Nefertiti was born in the 14th century BC. Her exact origins are unknown, but she is believed to have come from a noble family. She married Akhenaten when she was a teenager, and they had six daughters together. She was involved in politics and government, and she is credited with helping to promote Akhenaten's religious reforms. She was also a patron of the arts, and she commissioned many works of art, including the famous Nefertiti bust. Akhenaten died in 1336 BC, and Nefertiti's role in the government declined after his death. She disappeared from the historical record around 1330 BC, and her fate is unknown. There are many theories about what happened to Nefertiti. Some believe that she died, while others believe that she may have abdicated the throne or been forced into exile. There is also a theory that she ruled Egypt as Neferneferiadun, a mysterious pharaoh who reigned for a brief period after Akhenaten's death. The mystery surrounding Nefertiti's death or disappearance has only added to her mystique. She is still one of the most famous and fascinating figures from ancient Egypt. Here are some other interesting facts about Queen Nefertiti. Her name means, the beautiful one has come. She was a skilled diplomat and helped to negotiate peace treaties with other countries. She was a patron of the arts and supported the development of new styles of art and architecture. Her image is one of the most famous images of ancient Egypt and has been reproduced countless times in paintings, sculptures, and other works of art. Her legacy continues to inspire people today, and she is often seen as a symbol of beauty, power, and intelligence. Nefertiti was a complex and fascinating figure who played an important role in ancient Egyptian history. She is still one of the most famous and beloved queens in history, 2. Queen Amina of Zaza, Zaria, traveling to the vibrant lands of West Africa, we encounter Queen Amina of Zaza, present-day Nigeria. Fearless and strategic, Queen Amina led her kingdom with unparalleled military prowess during the late 16th century. Her unparalleled leadership in battles and diplomacy earned her the moniker, Amina, the warrior queen. Her legacy stands as a testament to women's strength in leadership roles. Queen Amina of Zaza was a female African leader who ruled the Zaza, Zaria, kingdom in what is now Nigeria. She was known for her military prowess and her expansion of the Zaza kingdom. Amina was born in Zaza, which was a powerful kingdom in the Hausa region of Nigeria. She was the daughter of King Bakwa Turunku and Queen Bakwa, and she was educated in the traditional ways of her people. She also learned how to fight and lead armies. When her father died in 1566, Amina's brother, Karama, succeeded him. However, Karama was a weak ruler and he was killed in battle in 1576. Amina then ascended to the throne and became the first female ruler of Zaza. Amina was a brilliant military strategist and she expanded the Zaza kingdom by conquering neighboring territories. She also built a series of fortifications to protect her kingdom from invaders. 
Amina was a just and fair ruler and she was loved by her people. She was also a patron of the arts and she supported the development of traditional Hausa culture. Amina died in 1610 and she was succeeded by her son, Muhammadu. She is remembered as a great queen and a powerful military leader. Here are some other interesting facts about Queen Amina. She was known as, Daughter of the Sword, because of her military prowess. She led her armies on horseback and she was said to be a skilled rider and archer. She was a wise and just ruler and she was loved by her people. She built a series of fortifications to protect her kingdom from invaders, including the walls of the city of Zarya, which are still standing today. She was a patron of the arts and she supported the development of traditional Hausa culture. Queen Amina was a complex and multifaceted figure. She was a warrior, a diplomat, a politician, and a patron of the arts. She was a brilliant and courageous leader who inspired her people and left a lasting legacy. 3. Yanenga, the warrior princess, venturing into Burkina Faso, we discover the legendary Yanenga, known as the mother of the Mossi people. Yanenga's tale is one of resilience and empowerment, as she defied gender norms by becoming a skilled warrior. Her efforts in founding the Mossi Kingdom in the 12th century have left an indelible mark on the history of West Africa, showcasing how women can shape destinies through courage and determination. Yanenga was a Mossi princess who lived in what is now Burkina Faso in the 11th or 12th century. She was known for her beauty, her courage, and her skill in battle. Yanenga was the daughter of King Nadega, the ruler of the Dagamba Kingdom. She was raised in a society where women were not allowed to fight or inherit the throne. However, Yanenga was determined to be a warrior, and she defied the traditions of her time. One day, Yanenga was riding her horse when she was attacked by a group of bandits. She fought bravely and defeated the bandits, but she was injured in the battle. She was found by a hunter named Riali, who took her back to his village and nursed her back to health. Yanenga and Riali fell in love and they were married. They had a son, Awadrogo, who became the founder of the Masi people. Yanenga is a legendary figure in Masi culture. She is remembered as a brave and resourceful woman who defied the odds to become a warrior and a queen. Here are some other interesting facts about Yanenga. She was the daughter of King Nadega, the ruler of the Dagamba kingdom. She was married to a hunter named Riali, who took her back to his village and nursed her back to health. She had a son, Awadrogo, who became the founder of the Masi people. She is remembered as a brave and resourceful woman who defied the odds to become a warrior and a queen. There is a legend that says that she rode her horse across the country, leaving a trail of blood in her wake. This trail of blood is said to have formed the Volta River. There is a statue of Yanenga in Ouagadougou, the capital of Burkina Faso. Yanenga is a symbol of strength, courage, and determination for women all over the world. She is an inspiration to anyone who has ever dreamed of breaking down barriers and achieving their goals. 4. Queen Zudatu, Empress Zudatu of Ethiopia was born on April 29, 1876 as Askala Meriam in the city of Harar in Ngersa Goro province, Ethiopia. Her mother was Abe Chi, a Shiwan noblewoman and her father was Menelik II, at that point the king of Shua and the future emperor of Ethiopia, Menelik II agreed to submit to Emperor Johannes's rule with the stipulation that his daughter, Zudatu, would marry Johann's son and future heir Araya Selassie Johannes. They wed in 1882 when Araya Selassie Johannes was nine and Zudatu was six. Despite the arranged marriage Menelik II and Johannes continued their contentious relationship until the death of Emperor Johannes in the Battle of Metema against the Modests of Sudan in 1889. Menelik II was soon afterwards crowned Emperor of Ethiopia. Upon the death of Menelik II in 1913, Lij Ayasu, the son of Zudatu's half-sister Shurega, assumed power. 
The new emperor viewed Zutatu as a threat and ordered her and her husband be taken to the countryside, Fall Province. Ayasu, however, quickly fell out of favor with the powerful nobles who ensured his rule. When he was accused of flirting with Islam, Ayasu was removed from the throne and replaced by Zutatu on September 27, 1916. Zutatu was crowned the Queen of Kings, Empress, and her cousin, Tafari Makonnen, future Emperor Haile Selassie, was appointed her Prime Minister. The Empress, who patterned her reign after British Queen Victoria whom she admired, nonetheless soon clashed with Tafari Makonnen who wanted to modernize Ethiopia. Empress Zutatu, a conservative, feared that his reforms might spark demands for greater power for Ethiopia's populace. Zutatu did promote the Ethiopian Orthodox Church and built numerous new churches and temples throughout the empire. She also allowed Makonnen to abolish slavery and lead the empire into the League of Nations. With these reforms Makonnen was ruler in fact if not in name during the last years of Zutatu's reign, Empress Zutatu's husband, Gugsaweli, led conservative supporters in a rebellion against Makonnen which ended when they were defeated at the Battle of Ancham on March 31, 1930. Welly died in that battle. Two days later on April 2, 1930, Zutatu mysteriously died in her palace. Zutatu, having no surviving children, was succeeded by Tafari Makonnen who upon becoming emperor was renamed Haile Selassie. 5. Queen Nandi of the Zulu Kingdom, in the heart of southern Africa, Queen Nandi, the mother of King Shaka Zulu, takes center stage. Her unwavering support and guidance molded her son into one of history's greatest military leaders. Queen Nandi's devotion to her people and her role in shaping the Zulu Kingdom's destiny make her a shining example of a mother's influence and strength. Queen Nandi was the mother of Shaka Zulu, the founder of the Zulu Kingdom. She was a powerful and influential figure in Zulu history, and she is remembered for her strength, courage, and determination. Nandi was born into a minor clan of the Zulu people. She was a beautiful woman, and she was said to have a strong personality. She was married to Senzangakona, the chief of the Zulu people, but he did not treat her well. She was banished from the Zulu kingdom and gave birth to Shaka while living in exile. Shaka grew up to be a great warrior and leader. He reunited the Zulu people and created a powerful kingdom. Queen Nandi played an important role in Shaka's success. She was his advisor and confidant, and she helped him to develop his military strategies. Queen Nandi was a controversial figure. She was accused of witchcraft and sorcery, and she was often at odds with Shaka's advisors. However, she was also respected and admired by many people. She was known for her generosity and her love for her people. Queen Nandi died in 1827. She was buried with great ceremony, and her death was mourned by the Zulu people. She is remembered as a strong and courageous woman who played an important role in the history of the Zulu Kingdom. Here are some other interesting facts about Queen Nandi. She was a member of the Langini clan, which was one of the smaller clans of the Zulu people. She was banished from the Zulu Kingdom by Senzangakona because she was a commoner and he wanted to marry a woman of higher status. She gave birth to Shaka while living in exile in the Mlatuz Valley. She was a strong influence on Shaka and she helped him to develop his military strategies. She was accused of witchcraft and sorcery by some of Shaka's advisors. She died in 1827 and was buried with great ceremony. Queen Nandi was a complex and fascinating figure. She was a woman of great strength and courage, and she played an important role in the history of the Zulu Kingdom. She is remembered as a mother to Shaka Zulu but she was also a powerful and influential figure in her own right. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening voyage of empowerment. Stay tuned for more enriching explorations right here on our channel.